have you ever asked yourself why is it that whenever it starts raining power seems to magically just go off this is quite a usual occurrence especially in developing countries like kenya well we have gotten in touch with samuel kibuka who's an electrical engineer to explain to us this weird relationship between power and rain because if you ask any kenyan they would honestly tell you that kenya power does this intentionally but maybe they do this intentionally to save us from a potential disaster but all this is hula baloo and it's literally unproven theories so let's talk to the expert it's not supposed to that it's not supposed to happen when uh, uh, when every other time that it rains that the power goes off so there are, these are some of the causes maybe that can arise to these outages. Number one, maybe we, we can look on lightning. Lightning is, um, is, is this is a very lightning as uh, means a very big amount of electric charges, which are trying to reach the ground through the easiest and available path. So sometimes when we don't, uh, some of the gadgets has failed in our in our systems of the power lines. This can affect us very dearly. This one still can still affect our our our, our equipments, even down in our domestic appliances that we have. So that is a major thing. That one uh, I think from the company part of it, the supplier, the company Kenya Power. And uh, that one is supposed to be handled from that end. And uh, another thing uh, we can come up is like uh, we have uh, mm, weed, weed. Uh, as as far as weed is concerned, sometimes we have uh, we have our trees which are already planted on under uh, our, our, our the lines. This has been very tripping away. In some areas, you find that uh, people even take the company to 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 to, to, to court for not uh, for not uh, for not uh, for cutting their trees. So this is a major thing. that okay, we find that in the power power lines, that the company the, the, the company will find it very hard even to, to cut those trees to size. That's affecting uh, the power lines which now causes maybe that outage due to short circuits. And uh, another one is lanes and flooding. Uh, in this area that uh, we go through, when we have, sometimes we have feeders which are underground. We have feeders that are underground. Sometimes when you have a leakage of maybe water in those, in those feeders, we find there's short circuits on those underground, underground feeders. So that causes singers uh, to have the transformer will trip and hence we have the, uh, the power outage. Uh, another thing we have, we can look at uh, animals on very, uh, sometimes it's on very locations. But one time I remember there was an outage that was there, in fact almost affecting the whole of uh, like Nairobi and the environments and other areas. A monkey did something uh, in, our, in, 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 in the system that caused us diary. Uh, so animals are still can be a factor. So, so far the explanation that you've got from Mr. Kibuka seems to sort of blame Mother Nature for the weird relationship between rain and power. Well, as much as we agree to this and it makes total sense that some things are out of Kenya Power's hands, we still want to know, is there, is there something that Kenya Power can actually do? And does Kenya Power play a role in this weird relationship between rain and electricity? Some of the systems we have along are long before we were born. And they might have some kind of leakages and problems that are not yet uh, uh, identified, which can be a major cause of those outages. That is just to mention but a few and uh, i think that those are those are the major things that actually cause our outages all right so there you have it two things seem to be at fault here to the weird relationship between rain and electricity 
Number one is outdated infrastructure, which means that the infrastructure and power lines that we have, including the feeders and transformers and all those kinds of things, are literally older than you and I combined. Yeah, like seriously, these things have been around since the colonial days. And this could be the reason why they keep failing now and then, especially if interfered by rain and that's take and that takes us to the second step to the second part rather of this weird relationship and this is interference which causes short circuiting so it could either be rain it could be trees falling it could be any kind of impurities on the power lines that cause this kind of short circuiting and as mr kibuka has also explained it could be humans as well as animals that just weirdly find themselves in places that they should not be thus causing a short circuit and we end up in darkness as you may have experienced okay so what is the conclusion here well from all this uh, from all the research that i've done and the conversation that we've had with mr kibuka we can conclude that it's bound to happen like it's bound to go dark whenever it starts raining and until kenya power steps up the game and fixes the underlying issues that cause this i would say that get used to it but there's good news because well it has been proven that power only goes out or rather off during the first spells of rain you know when it starts raining immediately that's when power goes off however things get a bit better when more rain comes because well the theory is that the impurities have already been cleansed this is assuming that power went off first because of the impurities so uh well it's a difficult thing that we have to live with but again like i said there's nothing much that we can do as the citizens it's up to kenya power to step up their game and improve things for us Lest we will continue experiencing this weird relationship between rain and power. And with that, I would like to say thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Sorry Miner, and next time it starts raining and power goes off, as much as we'd like to joke that Nikenya power in Anua steam and with Nyashewe, at least now you have better information and you are more informed as to what exactly happens. That's it. Kwaheri.